particularly for the non vegetarians you might be wondering why i am suddenly showing this picture at this point i would like to share a small story with all of you recently few nights back when i went to my parents room to wish them good night i was really surprised when i saw that my mother had fallen asleep with the phone in her hand and the youtube videos of cooking were still going on i took her phone and i saw that she had saved a few videos offline as well i was flabbergasted because it was only 42 days back that she had started using a smartphone and now she had learned all this on her own recently she had been preparing <coughs> some awesome dishes and now i knew her secret of success i realized that even after a long day's toil she gives so much effort in improvising the skill that she loves her undying dedication bewildered me and made me contemplate that night it dawned on me that even without setting a goal in life the passion the desire of working hard just for the sake of seeking perfection is so important and self satisfying a very good evening fellow toastmasters and distinguished guests good evening. Good evening. benjamin franklin was known for the saying by failing to prepare you are preparing to fail a lazy person will always shirk work and while away his or her time doing unnecessary things in fact it's a habit of most of us to procrastinate we don't realize a simple fact that time and tide wait for none on the other hand a hard working person is dedicated to his goals this dedication is nurtured by a strong will and a desire to succeed some people are born with or some people are some people are born with extraordinary talent but overconfidence and lack of sincerity wins their dreams while hardship often prepares an ordinary person for extraordinary <coughs> destiny there is a saying aim for the moon and if you miss it if you just in case miss it you can still get the stars now why i am saying this it is important to set high goals in life but even if you don't reach those goals you will fall somewhere near those goals sir edmund burke hillary was the first person to reach the summit of mount everest he was successful not because he was not only because he thought big but he was ambitious and determined as well to transform his dreams into reality all successful people are ordinary beginners with some talent some passion some dedication and a will to work tirelessly towards attaining their goals bill gates steve jobs sachin tendulkar they all became successful not by luck or destiny but by sheer hard work people who gets who get successful do not get carried away with temporary success but they try to achieve perfection in their field they work hard on their talent over a period of time before they reach the zenith of success the best example that i can quote in this aspect is of satya nadella the ceo of iconic microsoft in spite of doing a bachelor's in electrical engineering he followed his heart and went on to do an ms in computer science the biggest lesson that we can learn from satya nadella is that he went to an average school and average college but he climbed the ladder of success on his own merit and still remains a humble guy needless to say as an indian we can all deeply connect to satya nadella and unlike his contemporaries like tim ko in his in his success we can perceive the possibility of our own success and one can succeed only when one works hard all the fans of ms dhoni out there know how much he has struggled before he earned the title of the captain of india's cricket team the life and times of michael jackson will be remembered for many things but a lot of people do not know anything regarding his work ethic they do not know that michael jackson used to put ice on his eyes and used to stay up days at a time seeking for perfection and that's the definition of hard work in this era of facebook instagram twitter when people brag about the bright points in their lives from small achievements to great successes it is tempting to get jealous and of their accomplishments and covet what they have but instead we should be coveting the energy the sense of direction and motivation needed to get to that point of success behind behind every product moment capturing one success there is likely to be hours and hours and hours of hard work that led to it all of us are here to either overcome our fear of public speaking or to hone our communication skills to excel as a public speaker it is thus essential for each of us to realize 
that a speech might last for 5 to 7 minutes but it requires a preparation time of at least 5 to 7 days. It does not matter who is a great speaker and who is not but what matters is that if one keeps trying hard one will be slowly reaching his goal in this journey of Toastmasters provided that one is dedicated to his work. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, each one of us has a child within us who loves to dream. Each one of us has our own dreams and ambitions. We do not take a moment out every day to reflect on our life and self-set goals. I earnestly urge each of you to go back home today and ponder on the fact what your dreams were, what your <coughs> ambitions were and what you wanted to become in life and how those can still be achieved. Dream big, work hard, jot down the short term goals and achieving these short term goals will help you attain the long term ones because only hard work is the key to success. I repeat, dream big, jot down the short term goals, work hard.